So Jamie, if you were explaining um, to someone on the street what's going on here tonight, what would you say? Well, their negotiation is over research and development for drugs. And uh, why, why would the WHO have a negotiation on it? It's because there's an effort to try and change the system by a lot of people. They'd like to see a more direct role of uh, uh, the, the World Health Organization or governments in general to collaborate to decide how to raise money for R&D. And they'd like to set some rules about um, what they do with the money. And there's some big ideas about reform that would make things much better for patients by bringing the price of drugs down. Having the money the government put up uh, up front for uh, research and development resulting in lower prices after the drugs are discovered. And how, how are people reacting to that? What's, the, what's your sense of what's going on inside the negotiation room? Well, it's really polarized. It's a north-south kind of a thing. What you have is Europe and the United States try to kill this uh, re important reform proposals you have. Uh, you have, I think, a good beginning start by a lot of the developing countries, particularly from, uh, uh, there's probably about 10 countries which have really been helpful in these, in these negotiations from the south. But they're important countries, and they're, they speak, they speak uh, and they, they, on behalf of a lot of the ideas that the reformers have. It's just. It's just hard because it's, it's about money, and it's uh, money since everyone's afraid to talk about money now because of the financial crisis. And it's about change, and people are really conservative, and nobody really believes you can change a, a big system like how, how uh, uh, drug development is financed. Anything you'd like to add? Well, I, I think um, the, for the NGO community, the people working on this issue, I think they have to ask themselves. Uh, how long they can fight defensive uh, battles against drug companies on access issues, trying to claw down the price of drugs or fight patents here, there, and the other thing. And at what point do they really need to change the system? I think there's really not a big enough social movement to demand any kind of change, which is one of the reasons why this negotiation is going as slowly as it is. And it's also why the ambitions of this negotiation are as small as they are. This, is, this negotiation is about a fairly small amount of money. And uh, the kind of changes that they're talking about are deliberately picked to be not very controversial, but uh, on the other hand, that, that means it's not very interesting. It's, it's kind of boring to the general public. And I think, uh, you know, I just wish people would ask themselves, uh, uh, why are they settling for kind of a, you know, setting their lights lights as low as they have? Why do they allow themselves to get negotiated down and negotiated down and give up so many concessions in the sort of faint hope that they could somehow make this palatable to the uh, uh, you know, to the people that just don't want to change anything. I think we have to kind of kick it up a bit. We have to, we have, we have to get fired up, you know, and we're not really fired up right now. I think we have to do that. <laughs> Thank you.